When you think of American muscle, images of roaring coupes and sleek convertibles often take center stage, leaving a fascinating category of vehicles almost forgotten. V8 Muscle Wagons These unexpected powerhouses have transformed the humble station wagon into astonishingly fast and capable machines with a unique blend of utility and raw performance. Today's video is all about these unsung heroes, so make sure to stay with us as we present you with the most iconic American V8 muscle wagons. Pontiac Tempest Le Mans Safari Wagon GTO Conversion 1964 When Pontiac released the Safari Wagon, it was the best-looking wagon on the market. Clean and understated lines, Pontiac's famous split grille and lots of chrome accent. It looked like a sports car, despite it being a station wagon. Even the rear end looked quite sporty, with a sloping roofline and overall sleek profile. With such an attractive styling, this wagon was begging for more performance. It was time for the GTO conversion. This conversion includes a full set of upgrades, starting from the famous 389 V8, which was tuned all the way up to 350 horsepower. Moreover, it was even available with a four-speed manual which, along with a light yet sturdy body, made the Safari Wagon as capable as any muscle car of the era. It was a perfect sleeper, a perfect blend of practicality and performance, which would also be upgraded with GTO suspension, brakes, and even high-performance exhaust. It was a street performer in quite an unusual form. Pontiac Catalina 2 Plus 2 Wagon Conversion 1966 Back in the day, station wagons were pretty much what crossover SUVs are today, perfect family haulers. With such popularity, models were various, from utilitarian to some pretty luxurious executions. The Catalina was definitely a luxurious one. With full-size dimensions, bold chrome details, and stacked headlights, it was a perfect car to get upgrades from the Catalina Coupe. This was one of the nicest conversions of the time when this primarily utilitarian vehicle got some luxury touches, starting from the 2 plus 2 seating configuration and center console. The wagon would also get a cube suspension that would make it more agile and more comfortable at the same time. Still, the key upgrade was the one under the hood. The Catalina 2 plus 2 wagon came with a massive 421 cubic inch V8 which was rated at nearly 380 horsepower at 465 pound-feet of torque, which almost made this full-size wagon fly. And once again, there was the option of a four-speed manual, an option for true enthusiasts, which would help them keep up with pretty much any high-performance coupe of the era. It was fast, luxurious, and practical. Pretty much a perfect car. Chevrolet Kingswood Estate 427 1969 when you look at the Kingswood Estate from the outside, it looks like a typical wagon of its era. Massive proportions, wood panels, wrap-around rear glass, everything looks just like you'd expect. The same thing is true on the inside, where this Chevy had a simple, spacious, and very practical interior that was able to accommodate up to nine people. But then, you open up the hood and realize that things are not as they seemed at first. The Chevrolet Kingswood Estate is one of the hottest wagons ever made, with a variant that uses Corvette's 427 V8 coming out directly from the assembly line. Depending on the chosen carburetor setup, that engine would put out up to 425 horsepower, which was a remarkable power figure back in the day. With so much power, the Kingswood Estate would keep up with any sports car of the era, even fully loaded with passengers and cars and it perfectly epitomizes the spirit of the late 1960s American car culture. Dodge Coronet Super B Wagon Custom 1969 We all remember the Dodge Super B, one of the most iconic muscle cars of the era. But did you know that there was a station wagon variant of this mid-sized muscle monster? Well, it wasn't coming directly from the factory, but it was a pretty popular conversion back in the day which would later give it the status of one of the most legendary American wagons of all time. Many owners of the Coronet were very happy with their practical wagon, and they just wanted to improve its performance. And as Dodge wasn't offering such a variety, they had to do it on their own. Of course, most of the parts would be taken from the Super B, including suspension, brakes, dual exhaust system, and even some interior parts. 
But as you may presume, the key thing was the engine. That wonderful 446-pack engine with nearly 400 horsepower transformed the Coronet into a prominent street performer. Simply, there weren't many wagons able to transport the whole family in style while delivering an exhilarating performance like the Coronet Super Wagon was doing. Chevrolet Chevelle Concours 400 1970 The Chevelle enjoys the status of one of the most iconic muscle cars of all time, but that's mainly because of the coupe version. The sedan variant was there too, but did you know that the Chevelle was also available in a wagon body style? Chevy did this decades before Germans started diversifying their offer with nameplates available in all kinds of body styles. Essential Chevelle features were all there – massive grille, dual headlights, and sweeping lines. All these things were complemented by an expansive cargo area that brought practicality to the next level. Speaking of essential Chevelle features, there was also a variant with the legendary 400 big block V8. 330 horsepower and God knows how many pound-feet of torque made the Chevelle even a bigger legend, an icon that allowed whole families to enjoy the thrill of American muscle without sacrificing a tiny bit of everyday functionality. Plymouth Satellite Wagon 440 1970 Plymouth from the golden era is primarily known for its legends like the Roadrunner and GTX, but the famous brand was also offering one of the hottest wagons back in the day. The good old satellite was a perfect foundation for a sleeper. It featured a clean, squared-off design with lines that gave it a bit of an understated look. But at the same time, it looked powerful, so no one seemed to be surprised with the company's decision to offer it in a variant with the iconic 440 V8. That engine was a beast, with the potential to produce 375 horsepower and plenty of torque, giving it serious street credibility. The big block engine provided quick acceleration and effortless highway cruising, while buyers also had a choice of a four-speed manual along with a good old torque flight automatic. With all this in mind, it doesn't surprise that the Satellite Wagon 440 is a cult classic these days, a car that offers such a unique blend of raw power and utility. Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser 442 1971. Nothing screams muscle wagon performance like the good old Vista Cruiser 442 does. Introduced in 1971, it's easily one of the most distinctive wagons in American automotive history. Its unique design, with its legendary roofline and with raised skylight panels that extend over the rear seats, flooding the interior with natural light and creating an open-air feel, that's something you won't find in other classic wagons. Clearly, it was a stylish and comfortable wagon, but it had a sporty side as well. Dual hood scoops, rally stripes, and bold badging. The 442 was something more, a stylish wagon that hints at the power beneath that log hood. And that was for a reason. The Vista Cruiser was available with many capable engines on offer, including the massive 455 cubic inch V8, a powerhouse capable of producing 365 horsepower and magnificent 500 pound-feet of torque which would be sent to the rear wheels either through an automatic or manual transmission. The Vista Cruiser was a beast, and it was a gorgeous beast with its distinctive family-friendly design, so it doesn't surprise it's a highly sought-after classic car among collectors these days. Ford Gran Torino Squire Wagon 1972 The Gran Torino is another muscle car legend that was available in a wagon body style. Famous for its faux wood panels, the Gran Torino Squire was a pretty stylish station wagon with low profile and a lot of design elements borrowed from the famous coupe. All in all, it looked nice, but as you'd expect from a wagon of the time, it was quite luxurious and convenient too, with optional features like air conditioning, power windows, and upgraded seats. Among options, there were also the famous rally wheels, clearly indicating that something interesting was going on under the hood. The Gran Torino wagon was also available with the famous 429 Cobra Jet V8 with a max output of 375 horsepower. Paired with a 3-speed automatic, it was both powerful and smooth, and we're lucky that it came out right before the oil crisis, when things turned upside down and the muscle car era was over. The Gran Torino certainly deserved its place in muscle car history as a vehicle that offered a pretty refined blend of performance, practicality, and convenience. Chevrolet Caprice LT1 Wagon 1994 
After a couple of decades of oil crisis and instability, the American automotive market was finally ready to welcome muscle cars back. It started in the late 1980s, with some pretty hot iterations of Mustangs, Camaros, and Firebirds, and a few years later, everything was set for modern-day performance wagons. So, in 1994, the Chevy Caprice LT1 wagon was introduced, with a pretty regular styling and design that seems like it puts all of its focus on comfort and convenience, with high-quality materials, attractive dashboard design, leather seats, climate control, premium audio system, and more. But besides form, it also had substance. With the LT1 badge, it was clear what was under the hood. Chevy's famous 5.7-liter V8 with 260 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque. Coupled with a 4-speed automatic transmission, it was quick and comfortable, while the fact that the seating capacity was going up to 8 made it one of the most exciting family haulers of the decade. And while it wasn't as powerful as those legends from a few decades before, its significance is unquestionable, as it brought performance-oriented wagons back on track. Dodge Magnum RT and SRT8 By the end of 1990, the German Trinity was already established as absolute leaders in the high-performance wagon segment. Audi has been in business since the 80s. The BMW M5 Touring was introduced in 1996, while the E-Class AMG followed. It was time for the American automotive industry to respond, and the response came from Dodge. At the time, it was revitalizing its muscle car lineup. The new wagon was called Magnum, and it was characterized by a pretty attractive design with a large crosshair grille, prominent headlights, and a rear hatch that enhanced utility. The Magnum was practical, but its name clearly indicated that something interesting was happening under the hood. Indeed, this practical wagon was hiding a couple of potent V8s, starting from the iconic 5.7-liter Hemi that was reserved for the RT variant. With 340 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, it pulled this massive wagon with ease. But there was more. The SRT8 was sitting at the top of the offer with an even more impressive 6.1-liter Hemi V8 that was rated at 425 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, plenty enough to position Magnum among the most powerful wagons of its time. What do you think of our list of the most iconic American V8 muscle wagons? Is there a legend we missed to mention? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.